There are so many kinds of fish. There are so many shapes and colors and sizes, it can be hard to tell them apart. But if you know just a few key characteristics, you can start to distinguish a wrasse from a blenny from a goby. And that is what one of our newest books is all about. Greetings, everyone. I'd like to tell you about a new ocean book series for early readers that we're working on. The Kula Naya Foundation will be developing a whole series. And one of the first in the series is a book about some engaging uh, small fish that you commonly find in coastal areas. And we're calling it the Blenny and Gobi book. This first book will focus on compare and contrast skills, which is a commonly taught reading strategy in early elementary classrooms. It's also a key strategy that's often taught to young children to help develop their comparative thinking skills. And it's also just a great way to help children develop their observational skills and to connect with the natural world. This book will also help parents and teachers encourage children to pause and look closely at what is similar and what is different in the natural world, which is exactly what scientists do when they're trying to learn about a new species. And in this case, we're featuring blennies and gobies, which are two different kinds of small engaging fish that are commonly found in coastal areas. They're different kinds of fish, but they both live in tide pools or rock pools along many coastlines. And they're easily confused. So our book will help not only children, but also parents and teachers learn more about these charismatic fish. In future videos, we'll talk with Fiona Crouch. Fiona is a marine scientist and underwater photographer who is sharing her expertise and her wonderful photographs in helping us to create this book. We'll also feature some of the individual species of blenny and goby, such as the leopard goby and the tompop blenny. Okay, that's about it, everyone. And I hope you enjoyed to see a little bit about the Blenny and Gobi book. If you enjoyed this and you'd like to keep in touch, you can click the link below to our Patreon site. You can join our community and you'll get regular videos and updates as we work on these books and other ocean conservation curriculum. Take care.